everyone, hello! Welcome to our show, Education News. Today we are going to discuss the Tunisian education. Tunisian education has rapidly developed after the country uh, became independent. Before 1958, uh, only a, pri a privileged minority of 14% of the total population enjoyed the benefit of Tunisian education. Today, education in Tunisia has become one of the major concerns in go uh, at govern uh, of government as well as the society at large. Since 1991, it has been made compulsory that all children aged from 6 to 16 must go under basic education training. Language is given an extremely high priority. Children are, br uh, are brought up to speak to, uh, Tunisian Arabic. When they enter school at 5, they are taught in, uh, in classic Arabic. From the age of 8, they are taught French while English is introduced at the age of 10. And now we're going to talk about the structure of Tunisian education. The basic structure of uh, Tunisian education can be categorized as primary education, secondary education, and higher education. First of all, we are going to speak about uh, the primary education. Uh, the primary education is a system that includes primary grades from 1 to 6 and preparatory grades from 7 to 9. This education includes uh, basic education. Uh, students are uh, taught a variety of subjects and now we are going to see uh, an interview with uh, a teacher preparatory school. We are now with Mrs. Aidli, uh, an English teacher at a prep school. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about uh, uh, the education system in uh, Tunisia? Okay, you're welcome. Well, uh, you mean the education system at a prep school? Yes. Yes, okay, of course. A prep education lasts three years and it is for pupils aged between uh, from 11 to 15, 11 at least and 15 at most, okay? Uh, right, problems, pupils at this level face lots of problems. Since they are still young, so they have heavy timetables, uh, school violence, uh, heavy programs, heavy curriculums. Uh, they say that teachers are strict, uh, they can't cope with the school discipline since they are still young. But in spite of all these, I can realize that lots of problems enjoy education at prep school and can manage to have excellent results at the end of the three years. Uh, you know that at the end of the three years of prep education, pupils sit the for a final exam called uh, le brevet, but uh, it is optional. It is never compulsory. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, then secondary education. The secondary education ends with a high school graduation diploma known as baccalaureate. Five subjects are included in the curriculum of high school, humanities, sciences, mathematics, technology, economics, and management. For this, uh, we, chose, uh, we chose the Ardina Pioneer Secondary School, and uh, now let's watch... Uh Ariana Pioneer Secondary School is one of the best secondary schools in Tunisia. Pupils always have fun while the breaks but some of them see that the system of education in Tunisia needs more effort from the government to make it better. I think that uh, the Tunisian system of education is better than uh, many other systems, but the problem is that uh, it isn't very interesting. So we have a lot, a lot of uh, subjects to, to do, uh, but uh, at the same time we haven't uh, uh, time for activities, schools, etc. So uh, they don't respect our psychology and uh, it's the problem. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. Um, the education in Tunisia is quite good. Um, actually, um, the, the positive points are that uh, we are learning uh, many 
language from the primary school as uh, French, English and Arabic and in the, 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 um, the secondary school we learn uh, we have to choose another language Spanish or uh, German or something like this um, in the uh, scientist, uh, scientist um, um, subjects uh, we try to do a lot of experience uh, and um, the that's why we uh, we can uh, learn uh, better than uh, the other uh, countries education currently there are 13 public universities located all over the country there are several private universities too there are nearly 162 higher education institutions in Tunisia and now let's say welcome to our guest uh, uh, can you please tell us about the, the system of education at university? Uh, yes, of course, thank you. Uh, the, uh, each year in Tunisia, uh, about 500,000 students enter the university and high institutes. Uh, these uh, students uh, are placed in these institutes and universities according to uh, their preferences. Uh, also according to the exam scores, uh, also uh, according to the quota set for each field of study and institutions. Uh, there is a wide range of uh, fields of study, right? There is uh, uh, arts, uh, sciences, economics, uh, engineering, uh, architecture, medicine, mm -hmm. uh, a big range of uh, fields of study. Uh, as a result of recent reforms, universities now offer degrees that correspond to the European degree uh, system as defined by uh, the Bologna Agreement. We have bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees. The bachelor degree then takes three years. Mm -hmm. The master's, uh, research master's, two years. And the doctorate, three years. Of course, as each year a big number of, uh, of students are admitted to the university, a big number of them leaves the university looking for jobs. Unfortunately, the number of unemployed students remain high despite the big effort made by the private as well as the public sector. Mm -hmm. This is uh, in great part at the origin of the Tunisian yes. Revolution. Yes, okay, thank you, thank you so much. You are welcome, yeah. my pleasure. We hope government makes every effort to improve uh, the educational system in, uh, uh, in Tunisia at all levels, uh, primary, secondary and university, and help the huge number of disparate university uh, graduates to find jobs. See you next week, okay? Thank you!